Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Egyptian Head in the Attic After a homeowner passed away in a small English town on the coast of East Kent, a mummy's head was discovered in a glass case in the attic. At an unspecified date in the 1820s, the 2,700-year-old Egyptian mummy was shipped to someone in Ramsgate as a souvenir. After that person's death, his brother was clearing out his belongings and the very last thing he had expected to find was the severed head of a dead ancient Egyptian. Unsure what to do with such a relic, the brother donated the head to the Canterbury Museums and Galleries collection. And just recently, in 2020, scientists decided to do some x-rays to try and gain a little more information about this mysterious head. They were able to determine the mummy was an adult female, while CT scans showed that her brain had been completely removed. This suggests she had visited something in ancient Egypt called a Père Nefer, or a house of beauty, after she died. This would have been where the first part of her mummification process began. While house of beauty may sound nice, it was anything but. The dead woman would have had her brain removed through her nasal bone by a man with a hammer and some chisels. Oh yes, and don't forget about the iron hook to yank out all of her brain matter. Anything that was left would be scooped out using a spoon before the cranial cavity was rinsed with water. Craig Bowen, one of the men involved in the recent study, says it's ironic that ancient Egyptians believed a person's thoughts were contained in their heart and that their brain was pretty much useless. Number 9. Middle Class Pompeii The Pompeii Archaeological Park in Italy is one of the most unique and unusual places in the world. It's an ancient city that was destroyed in a flash of fire and brimstone in the year 79 AD. Mount Vesuvius erupted unexpectedly, burying the ancient Roman city in ash and volcanic debris. Looking at Pompeii from a human perspective, it was most likely one of the biggest tragedies in ancient Rome. It would have been like if a volcano wiped out New York City and everyone who lives there. It truly would have been an utterly devastating event. But since it happened so long ago, people visit Pompeii with their kids and their cameras, like they would a theme park. Archaeological investigations have been going on here for decades, with researchers always finding something new. Their most recent discovery in Pompeii was a little unusual. Researchers came across a home with all of its furnishings still intact. Director of Excavations Gabriel Zuchtriegel says the home matches the domestic environment of an ordinary Pompeii citizen. It contained a wooden dishware closet, a trunk with its lid open, decorative bowls and accent tables, and everything one might expect from a normal family. But here's where the house gets even more interesting. It's very clear by going from room to room that these were the epitome of ordinary Roman people. They weren't wealthy enough to decorate all five rooms of their house and hadn't even managed to paint all the walls. One of the rooms was even used for storage, suggesting the family had been hoarding a bunch of junk. It's a pretty shocking discovery because it goes to show that even after 2,000 years, people have changed very little. They also found an oil lamp found depicting the ancient Greek god Zeus, the Pompeii equivalent of a modern superhero lamp. Number 8. Dino Footprints A person went to a restaurant in China to get a meal and ended up making a surprise archaeological discovery. The restaurant was relatively new, having only opened in the past year. The customer chose to sit in the courtyard and enjoy the sunny day, and when they looked down at their feet, they noticed a very strange impression on the ground in the dirt. Upon further inspection, the impression appeared to be a dinosaur footprint. After some paleontologists showed up to investigate the discovery, they were able to identify two footprints of sauropods from the Cretaceous period, over 100 million years ago. According to Li Shing, a paleontologist from the China University of Geosciences, sauropods used to be the biggest animals on Earth. They were positively enormous and roamed across the Sichuan province of China prior to the asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Sauropod tracks aren't necessarily rare in the area, but are not usually found in restaurants downtown. So how did these footprints go unnoticed for so long? After all, most of downtown is covered in a thick layer of cement. The answer is that the restaurant had previously been a chicken farm. Because of that, nobody had noticed the indentations of the prints covered in chicken poop. It wasn't until the chickens were taken away, the farm was transformed into a restaurant, and the dirt became a garden-style courtyard. Number 7. Missing Picasso Sketch 
An old and very valuable piece of art was just discovered in the unlikeliest of places. A tourist was visiting the Spanish vacation island of Ibiza when they drew the attention of Spain's tax agency and civil guard. The passenger arrived on the Spanish island from Switzerland and had some rather mysterious drawings in their luggage. When asked about the drawings, the unnamed passenger simply said they were some cheap copies and weren't worth any kind of money. But something just wasn't sitting right with the Ibiza border security. Something about the drawings struck them as being old, too old for a tourist to have on a party island. As it turns out, the guards were 100% correct. The tourist had been trying to smuggle in a genuine work from Pablo Picasso, worth an estimated $461,000. It's a work of art called Trois Personnages from 1966. Perhaps you've heard of it. Now, here's a quick bit of info that might just win you your next trivia night. Pablo Picasso was born in Spain in the year 1881. He completed 13,500 paintings in his life and distributed roughly 100,000 prints. He was such a prolific artist that his stuff can be found in every corner of the globe. And every now and then, a random piece of his art shows up somewhere strange, like a Spanish airport. We're not sure what the tourist was doing with the painting, but we do know he had it confiscated by officials at the airport. He could also be brought up on charges of smuggling as a result of his poor decisions. Number 6. The Mastodon A construction crew in Michigan was in the middle of replacing an old culvert when they stumbled upon something very unexpected. The excavator was ripping a pipe out of the ground when he realized there was something red that looked an awful lot like a giant bone sticking out of the mud. Everyone stopped what they were doing to get the mysterious object out of the muck. And then they just kind of stood around looking at it. This was no ordinary bone. It was a piece of a mastodon skeleton, a physical piece of a prehistoric ice age beast. Mastodons lived at the same time as woolly mammoths and saber-toothed cats. Though to be honest, mastodons were a little shorter than mammoths, only growing roughly 10 feet tall and weighing 6 tons. But they were still some of the coolest animals of the Ice Age, and they lived all across the United States. From what scientists at the Grand Rapids Public Museum can tell, the Mastodon was a juvenile who died about 11,700 years ago. That was when human beings had already begun to settle in areas throughout the region. What dinosaur skeleton would you like to find in your backyard? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. Number 5 fossils in the Himalayas. If there is one place you would never expect to find fossils of sea ammonites, it's in the Himalaya mountains. And yet at the top of the Himalayas and all throughout the region, thousands upon thousands of feet above sea level, there are fossilized shells, pebbles, and marine animals. Specifically in Nepal, these fossils can be found pretty much everywhere in the mountains. Ammonites are shelled sea creatures that when fossilized look kind of like a slinky got embedded in a rock. Their shells leave a very distinct imprint, and they are scattered like loose change all throughout the Himalayas. So, why are there fossils of sea creatures from 240 million years ago being found over 20,000 feet above sea level? It has to do with the way the Himalayas were formed millions of years ago. After the breaking up of Pangaea, the single landmass that existed before there were continents, the land masses kept on moving. India started out nearly 10,000 kilometers from its current location 150 million years ago. It took 100 million years for it to slowly drift away from Antarctica to collide with the Asian mainland. And when the collision happened, the converging crusts of these two gigantic pieces of land mashed together with unbelievable force. The land crumpled upward to create what is now the Himalaya Mountains. You can think of the mountain range kind of like the seam between two land masses, like the seam on a weld when two pieces of metal are joined together. The reason there are fossils of sea creatures in the mountains is that millions of years ago, the land that is now in the clouds was once at the bottom of the ocean. Sea creatures died and floated to the bottom, turned into fossils, and then plate tectonics shifted everything up to the surface. Number 4. The Death Garden 
In 2022, an 88-year-old grandmother was mysteriously finding human bones in her flower beds. Her name is Anne Mathers from the West Midlands in England. The first skull was found in July just sitting in her flowers, right outside the terrace of her home where she has lived for the past 60 years. But the skull wasn't the only thing she found. She continued coming across femur bones and other random pieces of somebody's skeleton. They just kept showing up in her yard and she had no idea what was going on. Naturally, Ann Mathers called the police to report what was happening to her. The cops came to investigate and soon found the culprit. It wasn't a sick serial murderer dumping bones in the grandmother's garden, but a badger. The culprit was a fuzzy local critter. Anne happens to live pretty close to a cemetery, and badgers had tunneled underneath the graves and up through Anne's garden. As they tunneled through the rotting coffins of long dead humans, they dragged their bones along with them, and the bones ended up getting dumped in Anne's flowers. It was unexpected and terrifying for Anne, but just another day for busy English badgers. Number 3. Mysterious Stone Balls Inside of an ancient tomb on the Scottish island of Sanday, archaeologists came across a pair of bizarre polished stone balls. The balls are about the size of baseballs. They are completely smooth and were beaten into shape about 5,500 years ago. That was during the days of Neolithic Britain right before construction on Stonehenge began. These balls were an unexpected discovery simply for the reason that they are strange. Nobody actually knows what the balls were meant for. Some think they may have been weapons, some of the earliest projectiles in history. These balls may have been put in a sling and hurled at one's enemies. On the other hand, some researchers say they were for artistic purposes only. They may have been used to signify a person's status within their community or used as religious totems. Even more fascinating is just how long it would have taken to craft these polished balls. Vicky Cummings from the University of Central Lancashire says it would have taken a lot of hours of polishing the rock with sand and water. This was no easy task, especially seeing as Neolithic people had a lot of stuff they needed to be doing. These balls were clearly important, but experts can't agree why. Number 2. Van in the Walls A family in Germany was renovating their vacation home when they found something both ridiculous and unbelievable hiding in the wall. The renovation started with a demolition. The family needed to completely tear down the old and rotting wood so that they could rebuild from scratch, making a new and better vacation property. As they were demolishing the house, they found an old Ford Transit van inside the wall on the other side of the bathroom. They had an entire van in the walls of their house and had never known it. For some crazy reason, the shell of the van had been integrated into the building and sealed up behind the wall. The van had no engine in it, it was just the outer husk with no windows or seats. There could be a reasonable explanation for what happened here. We know that the family purchased the vacation home in the 1990s. It was nothing but an old wooden shack with an outside kitchen and a small space inside. The family fixed it up over the years before this recent complete teardown. It's believed the structure may have started as nothing but a camper van, just a family parked in the woods, then was expanded slowly but surely, and the van just kind of became a part of the structure. Number 1. The Basement Specimens it was in 2006 when a story went viral involving bizarre specimens of strange creatures found in a London basement beneath an orphanage. According to the original story, there was a man named Thomas Merlin, an obvious nod at King Arthur's court wizard Merlin, who passed away. After he died, specimens unlike anything ever seen before were found cluttered in his basement. He had allegedly been a hunter of all things strange and curious, a cryptozoologist obsessed with wacky monsters and things that go bump in the night. Among the things in his collection were fairies, strange skeletons of demons and baby dragons, screaming mummies, the mummified remains of mermaids, and what might just be vampires. It was all very weird, and all the specimens looked like they came straight out of a fantasy novel. Sadly, that's exactly where they all came from. This story was later debunked as a lot of nonsense. These specimens were real, but they were inventions of a guy named Alex, an illustrator and sculptor with a warped imagination based in London. The specimens were used as clever marketing for his own cryptid museum. Thanks for watching. 
What's the strangest thing you've ever discovered in an unexpected place? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon. Bye.